Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to bring you along for a week in my life here in Japan. This was supposed to be a relatively relaxing week, nothing too exciting was planned, but out of the blue something pretty big happened, so stay tuned and watch the whole video to find out what that is, but I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm at Nitori today, it's kind of like the Japanese Ikea. It's currently to you rainy season in Japan and that means that it's gonna start to get really hot really quickly. So I'm gonna pick up a new comforter for my bed that's like a summer one. Here's some of their summer collection. It says here that you can touch the fabrics and see that they're nice and cool for the summer. Oh, that is really nice. It's still quite thick, which worries me, but like the touch of it is really cool. These are pet beds. Oh, Marl would love that. He loves leaning on something. That's cute that they realize that pets like doing that. Oh, cute. <laughs> Why would you write that on a pillow? This is more of like a linen fabric. It's still supposed to be cool for the summer, but it's not as good as that kind of silky one. Wow, they've got so many different bedding options. This is just one of the rows. There's like four of them. Okay, these are the summer ones. It's a little ugly, but the material is nice. This is kind of like a towel. Um, that's popular in Japan. It feels like it would be really warm, but I guess it's meant to like soak up your sweat. The summer is so hot here, you guys, if you haven't experienced it, it's hard to explain. <laughs> it's, you get really sweaty and hot in the night. Oh, that one's nice and it's gray. All right, that's an option, but they've only got single. It's really common to have a single size bed in Japan. I have a queen, which can be really tough to find bedding for. These are all singles. There's a double. That would still be too small though. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> okay, so apparently they don't make the over top blanket, like the comforter part in Queen. They only make the underneath pad blanket in Queen. That makes zero sense. <laughs> the, the lady said I could get two separate single blankets, but that would look horrible. So I guess I'm just gonna look on Amazon and see if I can find something. Most Japanese people have a lot smaller beds. Like a double bed is usually the largest bed that you can fit into an apartment in Japan. I mean, my queen size bed is a bit of a squeeze. It does take up the entire room as you might've noticed. But yeah, I'll check on Amazon and hopefully they'll have the cooling summer sheets in a big size somewhere. But let's look around Nitori a little bit more. I really love this shop. They got some really nice stuff. I found some nice bath towels, which I've been looking for. I have lots of different bath towels at the moment. They don't match and it really bothers me. So I'm going to get a bunch of these. They're kind of cheap, eight bucks each. Look what I found. I've been looking for one of these for ages, a really slim spice rack. You guys all told me that these are a thing that exists and I haven't been able to find one. This one's only 6.10, like $6. And I think that'll fit perfectly in my kitchen. All right, well, I didn't get what I came here for <laughs> at all, but I did get some hangers, which I needed, and uh, what else did I get? Bath towels and a cute spice rack, which I did need. So, so I guess that trip was a success, <laughs> and I'll be doing some shopping on Amazon later. Tomorrow. Hi, you miss me? Yeah. Tomorrow. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you excited? Are you excited about the spice rock? Are you stuck in the bag? Are you okay? Oh god, don't eat that. Don't eat that. Let's go. Out of the bag. Out of the bag. Come on. Get out. Come on. <laughs> Get out. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna stay there. Is that fun? Is that fun?
So I'm looking for a remote control car for Morrow. He has this remote control mouse, but it's so crappy. So I wanted to get a car for him. They have the Fujiwara Tofu car. <laughs> See, why it's so big? I think that would just scare him. It needs to be smaller or else I would totally get that. There is a wood bug. Also very big. Darn. Again, I think you would really like that, but cats aren't really attracted to things that are like large like that. It would have to be tiny. Tiny remote control car. It's got to be one. Uh, there's a crawfish and a kabutomushi. Again, very giant and probably terrifying to a cat. Oh no, I've made it into the miniature section. <laughs> Things I don't need, but I want them because they're freaking cute. Oh, ham taro. How adorable is that? Look at this. It's like a gel bed. It's, they call it a gel pool. I don't think you're supposed to fill it with water, but I think you can put it in the fridge to cool it down. I swung by Starbucks to try out their new pink lemonade uh, tea drink. It's like it's half tea and half frozen pink lemonade. And I got another one of those color changing cups because they're so awesome and they really encourage me to drink a lot of water. And part of proceeds uh, go towards LGBT plus education here in Japan, possibly. Uh, I have to look into that, but yeah, all around good cause, good cup, so that's cool. Look at the sky, so pretty. I'm just about to film a cooking video for a Tokyo Creative collab that I'm doing. I've got my ring light set up in my kitchen. I haven't tried out a new recipe in ages, so <laughs> I'm a little worried about my cooking skills, but I love cooking, so it should be fun. Wish me luck. I think the video will be out on the Tokyo Creative channel maybe in August-ish. It's hard to say. It usually takes them a while to edit it, but I'll link them down below, so go sub to the channel and wait for it and pray for my cooking. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. We're gonna try out a brand new recipe using shiso. Oh god. Mm -hmm. So this is my good friend Ushka and my business partner for Neko Neko Post. So we've gotten together today to calculate the sales of our cat rescue charity postcards and so far we've made just over $700 US, which is amazing. Thank you so much to everybody who has purchased some of our postcards so far. We really, really appreciate it. And we're so happy to be able to make some donations to our favorite cat rescues here in Japan that are doing amazing work. I will link them down below so you guys can check them out. But we're really hoping to get up to $1,000 US. That would be amazing to be able to throw a big chunk of money at them because they deserve it. So if you guys are looking to help support our cause, I will link our postcards down below they're for sale in our neko neko post shop they are a collaboration with local tokyo artist erica ward she is so freaking talented so the postcards are absolutely beautiful so i hope you guys love them as much as we do so ushka recently went to a cat art convention or it was just a cat convention she brought me back some goodies i'm so excited to see what they are i know it's gonna be good Oh, the Ika! Oh, he's gonna love that. It's a squid. It's got like stringy tentacles on the bottom. Yeah. That's so cute. I love the design. Pixel started getting into it straight away. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in I know, here. it's all really good stuff. It's so hard. Uh, it's the Yojo tape, cute. so it's like that plastic masking tape. Like packing tape. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. How cute is it? You can just write stuff oh, on, that's the, really on the cool. kid's belly. You could do like a little label. So cute. Look at that. The feet. <laughs> Oh, was this like the like lucky, free gift or something? No, it was like a lucky, lucky dip. Or lucky so we don't know what's in here. No. Ooh, I'll have to open but that later. But everything at that store was really cute. 
Oh, what are these? Oh, the socks! <laughs> these are socks that make your feet look like cat paws. And yeah. they've got veins on the they other They do, side. don't they? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so fun. Did you try yours on? Not yet. <laughs> I can't wait. So That's hilarious. Maro's gonna be like, what the heck? <laughs> That's so cute. They were doing lucky bags. That's really fun. Whoa, there's lots of stuff. Oh no, Kimochi. It is stickers. Thank you, stickers in a matchbox. So cute. A little bookmark. Oh, that's awesome. I need bookmarks too. That's great. Oh, here's their Instagram if you want to go check it out. How fun is that? I love 3D stickers. Wow, look at those. Gift tags. This was such a good deal. This little lucky bag was only like 500 yen, I think. So cute. And another giant sticker. I'll put that on my laptop. What could be in here? It's packaged so nicely. Okay, that's the prettiest twist tie I've ever seen. I'm not throwing that away. Oh, there's lots of stuff again. Cute. Are these stickers again? I hope they are. I think it's a box of random flake stickers. These are really good for us. It says, thank you for your purchase. Mata goen gaarimashita, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. I hope we like see each other again soon or I hope, um, you know, we have business again in the future. That's so cute. We could put those on our packages. Oh my god! <laughs> Cat ass. Hi! We were supposed to come for afternoon tea, but apparently this is the wrong restaurant, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they do have nice stuff. That's like a veggie karage don. And look at this like raw cheesecake. That looks so pretty. And they have really healthy juices, which is always nice. Look at how pretty that is. This is really, I might just get this because it's so Because it's so pretty, yeah. yeah. Almond caramel soy milk tea. Yes. Hi. Oh, what was the food you wanted? Oh wow, the smoothie is so nice. So Mi Mikan got hers, and Eba got hers, and I got a pumpkin. <laughs> Arigatou gozaimasu. Oh, it smells so nice. <laughs> the staff here are ridiculous. They're so funny. This smells like Chinese food. This smells amazing. So this is soy meat, um, buffalo chicken. Mmm. -hmm. Really good. <laughs> it tastes like delivery Chinese food from Canada. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god, so it's so good. Holy shit. <laughs> I like a lot of sugar. A disgrace. <laughs> Is that this enough? Is <laughs> this smells so good. Is way bigger than I was expecting, honestly. That looks amazing. It's like you're in jail and we're we're visiting you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Is it good? Yeah. You feel like ice cream? Try I that. I love to try some. Oh, yummy. Ooh. Very <gasps> <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> so we're going to the awesome store now, which is pretty awesome. It does live up to the name. It sounds really tacky, but they honestly have the best cat products. This is where I got Maro's little washing machine and bathtub scratchers. He loves them. He spends most of his day in them. So I might get another one as backup while I'm here in Tokyo. They're so cute. I wonder if they have any new ones. So I have the washing machine and the bathtub. Oh, they don't have the bathtub here. But Mara really loves the washing machine, so I recommend that one. The TV is also cute. I like the TV. And the tuna can. I don't need it, but I want it. I love see-through socks. This is really cute. I got one for Maro, but it's gigantic. I think it was made for like a large dog. This is the perfect size. Okay, so you guys might remember my friend Alex that has the real estate company down in Tokyo. We've done a few videos together. He saw my video where I mentioned getting a second apartment for my business. So he messaged me and said, you should have told me you were looking for an office. I could have helped you find a bigger apartment. And I said, what? I didn't realize you had connections outside of Tokyo. Like it didn't even cross my mind to ask him. So today we're looking at a new apartment. I was planning on making the apartment I currently have in Morioka, like my last place in Japan. I thought I would stay here until I was ready to leave Japan. But hey, if Alex can save me some money and get me a really nice new place, why not? So this place we're looking at first is located in a city much bigger than Morioka. It has enough room for my office and my living space all in one. Besides that, the natural lighting is so beautiful and it has window seats so Maro could sit at the windows and look outside and I just think it would be really nice for him and he'd really like it and I really like it so why not? I was not expecting to go apartment shopping this week but here we are. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it put in an application and see where it goes. I'm not gonna get my hopes up because getting an apartment in Japan as a foreigner can be very difficult, but wish me luck. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Fingers crossed.